Have you ever wondered why some people seem to achieve their goals effortlessly, but you have such a hard time staying on track? Do you find yourself starting new projects with enthusiasm, only to lose momentum after a few days or weeks? Today, we are diving into a transformative topic, how to build unbreakable discipline, and we're gonna make it easy for you. The challenge for many of us lies in misunderstanding what discipline actually is. It's not about having an iron will or punishing yourself into submission. It's about creating a system that aligns with your life and your values. And it is this that makes consistency almost automatic. As Jim Rohn famously said, discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. This simple truth highlights that discipline isn't just a trait of the strong-willed. It is a skill that can be mastered and developed by anyone. So. Why do so many of us struggle with discipline? Often it's because our approach is too rigid or punishing, like I mentioned. These things lead to both burnout and resistance. Or, and we both know this experience, we try and take on too much all at once, which sets ourselves up for failure. Research in behavioral psychology indicates that the most sustainable form of discipline comes from small, manageable changes that you build over time. So the question becomes, how can you build unbreakable discipline that feels not just manageable, but easy? Well, I'll give you what you came to learn. Here are some actionable steps to take. The first is you need to set clear and achievable objectives. This is the part that most people listen to and skip over because they feel like they already know how to do this, but I guarantee you that most people don't actually take this advice on. Break your larger goals into smaller, more manageable pieces. Now focus on one small goal at a time to not get overwhelmed. Next, and this is key, establish daily routines. As you may have picked up by now, consistency is the key to discipline. You need to learn how to integrate your goals into daily routines because this reduces the need for decision-making and effort. Next, use positive reinforcement. Reward yourself for small successes. For example, what I do is when I've studied a certain amount of hours in a language, I allow myself a delicious cheat. Now it's gonna work for you the exact same way it works for me. This positive reinforcement makes discipline feel on the whole more enjoyable. And surprise, surprise, this is what keeps you carrying on. Now, speaking of carrying on, the next point is to stay connected to your why. You need to regularly remind yourself why you're actually pursuing something and why you're employing this discipline in the first place. A strong personal reason can be a massive motivator. Take it from me. Next up is limit your temptations. You need to remove temptations and distractions from your environment, gone. You make it infinitely easier to stick to your goals and keep using your discipline if you remove the things that are tempting you to stray away. And the last point I'm gonna give you is to seek accountability. Share your goals with a friend or join a group where people have similar goals. One example is the thing you're gonna find in the description, which is the must become nation. Take a look. Suffice to say, accountability will greatly enhance your commitment. Imagine integrating these steps into your life. I mean, actually integrating them, not just watching a video and scrolling to the next thing. You start each day knowing exactly what you need to do to move closer and closer to your goals. Your routines actually support and lift up your ambitions, not obstruct them. This makes discipline feel less like a chore that you have to do that your mom is nagging you to get done and more like something that you're actually enjoying because you know it's turning you more and more every single day into the person that you want to be. Reflecting on the stories of highly disciplined people, I mean like athletes or entrepreneurs, we see a very common theme. They don't rely solely on motivation. In other words, they're not waiting for the feeling to do something to strike them so they do it. They're relying on a predetermined, premeditated system discipline to get them to their results. They build their lifestyles around their goals, creating environments that sustain progress. Okay, for instance, let's consider the regimen of someone like an Olympic athlete. Their training, their diet, even their rest are all meticulously planned and integrated into their daily routine. This makes discipline a part of the Olympic identity. And consider this, these are people who want to be the best of the best and achieve a very specific objective goal. They are going for the gold medal. So let's learn from them and apply these things to our daily lives to get to whatever our gold medals are. Now, as we wrap up, remember this. Building unbreakable discipline does not need to be a daunting task. By simplifying the process into manageable steps and aligning it with our daily life, we transform what was once a huge challenge into a seamless aspect of our day-to-day -day existence. Start small, stay consistent, and watch your newfound discipline take you closer to your goals and your success than you ever imagined. Now, thank you so much for watching. My name is Spencer with Must Become. Always remember that your potential is your obligation, and so what you can become, you must become.